What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet, Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. Today, I'm coming at you with an off-white Jordan 4 release recap. So, no live cop today. I might sprinkle in some live cop footage because I did film one. I just wasn't happy with the energy, so I decided not to upload it. But I did want to at least come on and talk about the release. So, I figured why not do a release recap because I think we're all feeling one of two ways right now and that is if you got a w you are over the moon excited especially if you're a reseller because the prices on these are still going crazy we're just after the release as i'm filming this so of course the numbers are still very high for these but if you are not one of the people who took a w today and you took an l then you're in the same boat as me and you might be feeling a little salty i'm not gonna lie I'm feeling a little salty as well, but what happens now? That's the point of this video. What happens now? What are my options? Well, your first option is to say, you know what? I got an L. It's not meant to be. It's not in the cards. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pass. There's always another sneaker, and that's the great thing about this sneaker game. We're already seeing images of the off-white Air Jordan 5 in the sale colorway. we already seen images of the Union LA 4s. I'll go ahead and put pictures of both of those up here. And I also just did a video on the Union LA 4s as well. So you can go ahead and check that out. But my point is that there is always another shoe. So if you want to pass on these, don't let anyone tell you that you're making a mistake because they're not the ones throwing down the big money to buy resale. And that takes me to option number two. What is your second option? Well, pay resale. If you really want these shoes, I was personally putting money aside because I already knew that I was going to do my best to get these shoes. But at 50,000 pairs, there's only so much you can do. Even the bot users were struggling today. So I already knew I wanted to be prepared for worst case scenario. So I already have my resale money put aside and I will be copying these because I want them for my collection not because someone on the internet told me that I need them. Let me know down below in the comment section right now what side of the fence you're on. Are you going to pass on these and just take your L gracefully or are you going to go ahead and spend the big bucks for the resale amount? I do want to say, and this is important for all of you who are paying resale, don't pay the high prices that the shoe is right now. Once the sneakers come in from the sneakers app, Prices will definitely go down a little bit, but right now prices are at the high because we are just after the release. So prices will definitely take a small dip once people start to get their pairs in and they decide, you know what, I don't really like this shoe or I just bought this shoe to resell. We'll see an influx of pairs go up for sale and of course that will drive the price down. Also, have a number in your head of what you are willing to pay. I know my number and I'm not going a dollar over that number. No matter how bad you want these shoes, it's not worth breaking your budget or going broke. Or maybe it is. I don't really know. I'm not watching your pockets. And that's about it. I just wanted to provide a little moral support for all of the L's that were taken today, myself included. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love. It really helps the channel. We are growing at a tremendous rate and I really appreciate all the love that you all have been showing me and I will see you guys in my next video.